Hi everyone, welcome to another studio vlog. I am starting on a Friday at the moment. I have, I'm looking at a whole load of mess because um, my Christmas cards arrived on Tuesday and then Wednesday I ended up taking some photos and the photo, <laughs> the photo setup is still there. But yeah, let me show you what it looks like. So I have cards and photo boards and pine cones and this lovely twine and stuff all over the desk. But yeah, in case you haven't seen, these are my new Christmas cards and I just, I love them so much. They're my Christmas gnomes. I really wanted to do more designs of these and I mentioned already that I sketched out some different designs but I just ran out of time. But these are the Christmas cards. They're blank on the inside and then that is what the back looks like. And I also redid my Woodlands Animal Christmas cards as well. Not redid, reordered. Anyway. I'm gonna clear all this away. I've got some orders to pack, so I'm gonna do that, and I'll probably film a little bit of that as well. So I have to do my course for this week. I'm not sure if I can film that or not. It depends sort of what we're doing. If you're completely new, I'm doing a picture book course, um, which is about writing and illustrating picture books. And so far, we've just had lots of tasks that are kind of about the kind of general skills of how to write a picture book. We like alternate between doing an illustration and a writing class. I already have my idea for my story that I want to do um, and it's going to be a story about a ghost. It's been really really fun. Um, I kind of just want to get into making my book now though because I was like really really excited and I feel like I've lost a little bit of that momentum maybe. So I had a good start to the day because we had a power cut. I got up really early and obviously it's getting a lot darker now anyway so it was pitch black. I'd only just turned the computer on. Luckily I wasn't, I hadn't started any actual work. The power went out and I had this one <laughs> tiny uh, sort of fake candle which was actually from when I ordered those little ghost like Halloween things. So luckily that was on my desk so I used that. I got some fairy lights, turned those on, went downstairs because we've got this um, amazing torch but I ha in order to get the torch I had to go downstairs holding this tiny candle and my fairy lights just so that I could see and I suppose I could have just gone back to bed but I was feeling awake and I'd already made my breakfast and stuff anyway but yes I'm not sure exactly what you're gonna see in this vlog um probably some packing footage in a minute I'm just looking because I think my neighbors in the car and I don't want them to see me filming okay <laughs> I'm gonna go I hope you enjoy the vlog Hey darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday I've been listening to Beck. Um, I don't really know many of his songs, but I really like this album. It's from 2017. 
especially this song this song i've played so many times <laughs> and also i really liked the last song as well uh, yeah i just love it when spotify like recommends not a sponsor for spotify <laughs> Sometimes I just get into a music mood. But yeah, I just I just really like it when they suggest stuff to you and it's like, oh my goodness, this is amazing. Also, how amazing is the album art for this? I just love it. Okay, I'm gonna post these and then I might do some of my course. I've decided I'm going for a run. Wish me luck, I'm wearing my nice reflective Thing. I'm gonna go before I talk myself out of it. <laughs> I am back. I'm soggy. I'm puffed out, but I did it. Yay. I am actually dressed, but I kind of look like I'm not wearing any clothes. But yeah, I am actually dressed, but I've just put my dressing gown over the top. Um, I had my booster jab today, which yeah, went fine. I'm feeling fine so far. Um, but I just kind of felt like wrapping myself up in my dressing gown. <laughs> I've just had a nice lunch, had a bagel, which was very nice. And I bought some like caramelized onion, like chutney sort of relish type thing, which was really nice as well. I always feel like having like chutney and stuff when it gets kind of close to Christmas. Anyway, I've got something exciting, some happy mail to show. I, I'm gonna do like a little bit of work today, um, but I'm just gonna do some like drawing and stuff. Um, I started actually sketching something out. I had this idea to draw some kind of like gingerbread like woodland animals. Yeah, and I'm gonna do a kind of pattern. I want to try and experiment more with like surface, uh, like pattern design. Yeah, there's a whole load of different things that I want to do with my portfolio. I might make like a separate video about it. I'm already kind of thinking about like next year. Yeah, and just what I want to do with my like illustration career and stuff. And I'd really like to get some like commercial clients and so I've been kind of looking at my portfolio and seeing like what kind of gaps there are and also seeing what kind of areas I could get work in. I thought it might be fun to do like a kind of gingerbread sort of pattern, just something for my portfolio and maybe I'll use it in my shop next year. But I've got something kind of Christmassy to open. So this is something that I have bought. I think the name of the shop was Linen Stitch lynn in stitches so the owner of the shop is called lynn and i'm very very excited the stickers say something different the stickers say mouse mail on them on them i have bought these tiny little christmas mice so this is off a seller on etsy and i saw them and they look so cute they're made out of felt but I double checked with her and it is actually like vegan felt. I bought quite a few. As you can see, there is a box <laughs> filled up with Christmas mice. I've bought a mouse couple for me and Tom that we can have. Um, and then I thought like our parents might like some. I was just like, oh, they're so cute. And there were so many different like color options and fabric. <laughs> Oh, it's so cute. Oh, it's so, so cute. Little tail with a little ribbon on it. They just look so sweet. But yeah, so that's, that's one. I mean, how adorable is that? Just looks so smart. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna hang them on the tree or I might just, I don't know, like put them somewhere like sitting. More mice. Cute, cute, cute. I love the, uh, the fabric pattern and the little lace around it. I just think that these types of things are just really nice to like, I don't know, like take out every year and it just becomes like a nice, tradition. It's focusing on my face again. Try and cover it up. But yeah, so you could choose what colour mouse you want and then you could choose what fabric. 
I didn't see an option for having like, you know, two male mice or two, or, you know, two mice in dresses and two mice in suits, but I guess you could probably send her a message. I'm gonna have to decide which one I like the best, which one I wanna keep, and, but they're all so cute. How can I decide? They are all so adorable. I love them all, <laughs> but I can't keep them all. They kind of look like they're all having a party or they're like carol singing or something because I've got them all huddled together. <laughs> yeah, so if you want to get your own little mouse, Christmas mouse, um, there's Lynn and Stitch's details. I left my chair for two seconds and Tammy is very, very happy with herself because my dressing gown was on my chair, wasn't it? Oh, what's that noise? Okay, we have more exciting mail to open. So this should be my wooden decorations that I made the artwork for these a little while ago, but it just took a while because I need, then I needed samples and then they didn't have the wood that I wanted, but they're here now. I'm really excited. I've just torn my, la my address label off. So let's have a look. Ooh, got fun tissue paper. I like all the bright colours. I've never made anything like this before, so I'm really excited to see what they look like. I hope they've come out okay. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, they look so nice. So I've got them with these holes in the hats and I've got some different like baker's twine in different colours so I thought that I would yeah make them into decorations and I'm definitely gonna keep one for my tree mine and Tom's tree so that is one design so this is one of the gnomes on a candy cane they look so nice it's strange they've got the thing to peel off on the back but not on the front <laughs> <laughs> but I've um, I've never ordered anything like this before, so I wasn't. I thought that that was the colour of the wood at first. I think I went for the mahogany in the end. I just I really wasn't sure what type of wood to get. I'd ordered some samples, but the samples got lost in the post, and then I was just like, oh for goodness sake, I should just I should just order these, otherwise they'll like never come. Chloe is the like main person who runs the company and she was helping me out and I'd seen some like images on their website of different like other sort of like wooden things that they did and the one of the ones that I liked she said was on walnuts so I thought I'd try the walnuts yeah so I ordered them in the walnuts but then they actually ran out of the walnut so then I had to choose another one but apparently the mahogany which is the one that I've gone for is quite a similar type of wood but yeah I think they've come out really nice I think if I get any others in the future I might actually try and get some different samples of like what it would look like on different types of wood So <laughs> this is the behind the scenes of my product photography. I, <laughs> I wanted something to hang the decorations on and it's currently November. So I didn't actually want to, like we don't actually hang up our tree until December. So we've got, yeah, few weeks to go but I've got this like fake mistletoe that I've had for a while and I've just stuck it it looks when you see like the bit with the the brown tape it doesn't look quite so fancy but this is the beauty of editing we can just crop that out and it's fine so I've just been 
taken a few photos and also videos. I thought I might actually upload a little video clip to Etsy as well. Plus also it's always good to have little clips of video things that you can add to Instagram and also TikTok as well. I think it looks so good. So as you can see, I've added the baker's twine. So I've added a green and white for this one because she's got a whole green outfit going on. And then I went for the reds and white baker's twine for this one because she's got her lovely red trousers. Yeah, I'm really, really pleased. The only thing I think I would change is you can see that they're not entirely the same size. I did order them the same size, but that's partly like, I have the same thing kind of happen sometimes with pins. But yeah, I had the same thing happen with my floral cats. I actually ordered them all like the same size as in like, they're all kind of the same width, but then because the heights are different, then some of them just end up looking a lot bigger than the others. Obviously the daisy cat just ends up looking like so tiny, but it actually worked out quite nice. I think it like came out really cute and dinky, but yeah, I do think like if people wanted to get them as a set, I still think it's fine because I quite like mis like slightly mismatched Christmas tree decorations anyway, so maybe it doesn't matter that they're not, you know, exactly the same size. But I think maybe next time I will try and if there's if I'm doing another collection I might try and get them vaguely about the same size. But I'm super happy with them. It's just exciting trying out a new kind of product as well. So I think I'm definitely gonna get more wooden decorations going, th going forwards. I quite like to get Halloween ones. So I need to finish taking photos of these and then I can put them up on my shop. So I thought I should probably show my face and film an outro because I did a few clips where I just didn't even show my face <laughs> at all. So hello, uh, thank you for watching. I am not entirely sure what I have filmed and I haven't edited any of this yet. So I'm not quite sure what you're getting other than I know that the decorations arrived and I'm really pleased with those. Yeah, I feel like I filmed a few little clips here and there and yeah, I can't quite remember <laughs> what I filmed, but I'm planning on starting a, another vlog straight away um, and I'm gonna try and film like a whole week uh, and actually film every single day I hope you've had a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and I will see you in my next video. Okay, bye. Whenever I don't use the tripod, my arm really feels it. I should do this regularly though. This <laughs> this could be like my arm workout. Oh, they look love. Oh, it's not focusing. <laughs> um, welcome to another shoe. I should switch my arms because this one is gonna get really strong. <laughs>